you know, I do a lot of like foam rolling, um, soft tissue work, so all those things are kind of covered. And then I got to the stage where I thought, it's the extent now where I do need something more. So it's, it's the next step, really. Um, to me, it's just as important as training and nutrition. So it's those three things which fit together to make sure that it's like a body MOT. I feel a lot looser, a lot more mobile. Um, and I know when I'm squatting and deadlifting, I feel more open. So particularly with the bar, I feel more open. I can get my elbows behind the bar a little bit more and obviously if I've got good posture and good breathing then my squats are going to be better, my form is going to be better um, and I'm get, starting to get less headaches as well and that's a big difference. You know when you're in pain and you're sitting around all the time when you're driving a lot you feel quite tight. I mean most people when they go to a conventional gym they'll, they'll basically, they start their day off sat down and then they'll go to work and they'll sit down and you know they're driving in the car and they go to the gym and sit down so this is why S&P is different and then obviously sports massage ties in nicely that with that too is getting you moving more, more mobile. Think about adding it regularly into um, your regime so initially what you might be doing is you, you know you might have it once a week for the first month six weeks and then depends on, on um, the tightness or what is going on with your body and then as you go along make it more interspersed it might be every other week for a little bit and then it might be once a month as a general maintenance but it's always something you can keep in the back of your mind that you know you, you will need going forward it's not something that you think oh, I'd, I'd do this and then it's fine it's prevention rather than cure